Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Um, I've had a few guys reach out just with regards to the Orange Lance Mountain in the background. And so this beautiful Series 5, Bones Brigade Series 5, Future Primitive Lance Mountain um, came out. Here we go with the silver top there on the yellow, which looks killer. And it came out in 2014. And so, yeah, 2014 Bones Brigade um, Series 5. And so, yeah, we're dealing with the Ripper and the Wings. And uh, it says 7 ply up there. So the 7 ply maple it's referencing. Um, but super sick deck. I'm stoked that I got this one. There's a bit of a story behind it. Uh, so when I lived in BC, I was just starting to get into collecting. Not even really collecting, just starting to get back into skateboarding. And um, I, I had my dog town. Managed to get my hands on the Tony Hawk, the blue one, uh, so Series 9. And then I may have had that Vellelli uh, at the time. But anyways, I was talking to my buddy, one of my colleagues, and he had said that his, his brother gave him an old school skateboard. And so he believed it was a Lance Mountain. So I'm like, dude, please look into it and let me know what you got. So he was saying his brother picked it up at a value village for $50. So guys, it's worth going into those old uh, secondhand shops and, and see what you can find. So Salvation Armies, value villages, um, garage sales, anything like that, go out there. You never know what you're gonna find. So he picked it up complete uh, for 50 bucks. So obviously if I was gonna buy it, I wasn't gonna get it for 50 bucks, but <laughs> I just wanted to get my hands on it because I love the fact that it was Lance Mountain. And to be honest, even at that time, I probably wouldn't have even known, I wouldn't have known about the new, um, the new school holds for the trucks. Um, and uh, also probably didn't even know about the different series, just assumed that they were just coming out with these reissues, um, but didn't know much about the different Bones Brigade series. And so obviously have learned a lot since then, but dude would not sell it to me. He's just like, no way I'm keeping this thing. And the more I asked, I think the more intrigued he was about it and wanted to keep it. He was stoked. He was a younger guy as well, like in his 20s. And so it didn't have a lot of, uh, you know, heart memory there for him. Um, I think it was just that it kind of had that old school kind of vibe. And he was pretty stoked on that. And so anyways, he went sell it. So we moved out to back to Ontario. Uh, and uh, after about a year or so, I just reached out to him and said, hey, dude, you ready to sell that board? And uh, he's like, let's make it happen. So he gave me a smoking deal on it. Obviously I paid more than 50 bucks for it, um, but it came complete, came with the Indy 169 trucks and it came with um, some white 60 mil uh, wrap on wheels, um, which were awesome. I was stoked on them. They were 97A, so a little bit hard. Um, more what we were skating back in the day. I used to skate 95A, but, um, but not that amazing for cruising, so. I don't know. And I'm the kind of guy that when I'm hanging my decks, I'm not hanging them complete. Um, but my buddy who has uh, an OG John Lucero emergency cross when he was skating for Santa Cruz. So it is probably from that, you know, 85 to 87 ish time frame. Um, he was looking for a set of trucks. He likes to uh, he likes to show his complete in his house or a few of them anyways. And so he wanted to get some trucks and wheels. So I just gave him the Indy 169s and the white wrap bones that look killer because they had that vintage look to it. And so, anywho, to get back on this board, 1985 this graphic came out, they were working on Future Primitive, and so it was this graphic, as well as the Series 12 graphic up there again. Um, if you know which one came out first in 85, please let me know, but obviously you can see that the Series 12 Lance Mountain graphic, Future Primitive one, is a little bit different. Um, so Lance just was not excited about having, you know, the kind of status quo bones and skulls and stuff. He was really digging the future primitive vibe that um, DCJ was coming up with. So Vernon for uh, the future primitive movie that was going to be dropping. And so hence we have the future primitive Lance Mountain skateboards. And so, yeah, so with this one, this is actually a Blem deck. And so for those of you who don't know what Blem is, um, it's obviously short form for blemish. Um, when I had that hawk and I did the video, my very first video, um, just with regards to the indie trucks and stuff not mounting properly because the new hole patterns. Anyways, one guy had reached out and said it's a blem deck because it had a twist to it. And I assumed that he meant blemish, but I didn't know there was actual terminology for it. 
And so um, anyways, just obviously over time, I've getting a better feel and educating myself and getting an understanding of what's taking place when they're saying things like blem, I know the terminology now. And so what happens is with Powell, um, as they're pressing these boards, for whatever reason, somebody leaves a fingerprint, uh, there's a scrape in it. Um, there's a defect of some sort, they pull it out of the batch and they mark it blem and they resell them after as just blem decks and or blem complete. And so this one was a blem complete. It had some sort of defect, not sure quite what it was. Um, and you can see here, because this one was used, there's a little bit of wear on the tail. Um, and there, there is, it looks like it was backed into a curb or something like that. And so there's a little mark on the tail on the, you know, just at the back corner. Um, but outside of that, she's minty. It's, I'm so happy with it. There's a little bit of uh, burn right here, razor burn, um, or wheel bite or something like that. But um, outside of that, it's awesome. I'm so stoked on this deck. But yeah, so there would have been something that was wrong with this. So what they do with the blend decks are, in capital letters in between the trucks, they actually stamp it blem. And so if you have a deck and you see blem stamped in between the trucks, in caps, uh, you know that you have a deck that actually is kind of a one-off. And so some people find it more attractive to get blems because they are a little bit more unique in the sense that um, they are one-offs um, because there is a little bit of a defect to that. And so I know in a lot of other collecting worlds, guys love that stuff if there's some sort of weird variant. Um, so these blums are kind of like that with the with there being a variant to it. So I'm going to hold it up and hopefully position it. Um, the top one's a little bit harder to see it is there. It's just below the 1985. I'm going to try to do that for you guys. I'll hold it here and kind of change the angle a bit. Hopefully you guys can see that. And again, that 1985 is just the copyright for the graphic. And then I'll try down here and see if you can see it just to on top of VCG's uh, trademark there, VCJ's trademark. Hopefully you guys are seeing that. Hopefully it's focusing. Anywho, um, so it's there, well it's there. I'm just gonna give you guys a good quick look at this thing, how sexy it is. I'll leave some good pictures in there too at the end of the video for you guys to pause and drool over. Um, and then here's just the top of the deck. I love that ripper, the silver ripper on there looks killer. All right, so let's just run some specs quick, guys. I'll keep this moving along. Actually, I don't know if I did this yet, but let me pull up my trusty Vision Psycho riser there just so you guys can see. Old school hole pattern. And it's important to know this again, guys, because yeah, a lot of the trucks that have come out um, nowadays are at the new school hole pattern. So if you're wanting to put, you know, trucks on your um, Palo reissue board, then um, most of the reissues coming out now, definitely the Bones Brigade series are the old school hole pattern. So again, you'll just have to get one of those standard six hole trucks, Indy standard six hole trucks. To be honest, I don't know if like, if you're skating ventures or tracker or um, going, um, you'll probably, I don't know if they have like six hole base plates as well. Um, so you might have to just get your hands on some old school ones, uh, which are out there and are available. Um, but anyways, yeah, just be aware if you have a, an old school reissue Powell deck, um, at least the Bones Brigade series, and I know a lot of the other ones coming out um, have the old school hole pattern, the most recent ones, um, then you'll just want to make sure that the, the holes align. Um, Otherwise, it's frustrating. All right, so let's go through. Um, the deck shape is the 156. Uh, the deck concave is the SP3. And so on one of the other um, Lance Mountain series, I'm not 100% sure, but it's a green deck. Anyways, it has the SP2 concave, which has wheel wells in it. And so this one does not have wheel wells. Neither does the series 12 have wheel wells in it. And so this is the SP3, which means there's a hair more concave to it than the SP2 one because we don't need the wheel wells. And so, yeah, this is the SP3 concave. It's the same shape though. Uh, it's the 156 shape, just a different concave to it. And so, yeah, let me just, yeah. 
And so as far as um, the wheelbase here, let's again, we're just measuring the inside of the trucks here. It's 15.375. The length is 30.75. The deck width is 10 inches. So the nose here is 3.875 inches. The deck tail is uh, 6.5 inches. And there you have it guys. There's the specs for the Powell Peralta um, Bones Brigade Series 5 uh, Lance Mountain Future Primitive Board. And so just remember with these guys, um, these are, oh, what do we call this again? Um, the laminate so and it's um, a heat transfer that they put on top so if you're just buying the board you want to actually see the truck holes and again that's just gives us an indication that it's a it's a reissue quickly if you can't see the truck holes that means that it's a um, that heat transfer where they just put the whole laminate right on top it's still screened to a heat transfer um, but the old pattern is where they're actually screening the paint on in different layers and so it doesn't cover up the trucks obviously um, but with this one, it's that heat transfer that's covering up the whole deck. Um, I don't know what else to say. And that's the top and the bottom for the top and bottom graphic. All right, guys, outside of that, um, I just wanted to show you guys this one again because some people were asking about it. What I'll probably do now is just start moving through uh, some of my collection here, the ones that I haven't touched on yet. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of buying lately. I've got some boards to sell. I am waiting for the, the pre-release. I have um, the Wellander coming, which I'm so stoked on getting. It looks really rad. Hopefully it's not warped. And I have the Nikki Guerrero coming, which is a wicked um, kind of lighter blue stain um, that I'm super stoked on getting those two decks. And I'm still debating actually getting the Seas. Just go on to Skate 1 and take a look at some of the new releases for the classics that are coming out. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff there. So, anywho guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again, and uh, enjoy the rest of the week. Cheers.